Look who it is, y'all, Cameron and Starlin, our favorite cousin duo, back for Ag in the AM. And how have you ladies been? It's been too long since we've seen you. It has been. I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. How are you? Oh, I'm doing good. I'm happy to see you ladies. I have to remind mm -hmm. everybody that they are <laughs> just in high school because we've got something really exciting to talk about today. The second annual Driving for a Cause, this year benefiting the Grayson Crisis Center. Now, I know last year y'all put this all together. Cut a check for Meals on Wheels. What are we planning for this year? I'm so excited for year two. So last year we were blessed enough to write a check for a little over $6,000 for Meals on Wheels of Texoma. <laughs> so that was pretty exciting. And then this year we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to benefit the Grayson Crisis Center um, and hopefully make a difference there. And mm -hmm. I remember last year's star, um, the Meals on Wheels rep said that check, I mean, that was one of the largest donations they had gotten in a really long time. Oh yeah, it helped him out a lot. It's so this year I'm really excited. What's kind of the overview? People are looking at a flyer right now. November, mm -hmm. was that say 24th? 24th. 24th. November 24th. Mm -hmm. What's going on? What's kind of the order of events? So number November 24th, we're hoping to start checking about 7 a.m. Um, and entries close at 8.30. We are so excited to have so many FFA and 4-H'ers from across Texas come and exhibit their livestock. So these are all um, school-aged children, mm -hmm. and they get to come exhibit livestock, and then all the proceeds will benefit um, the Grace's Cri Grace and Crisis Center. And you've got to show us the coveted buckle. Oh, yeah. <gasps> this oh. is the grand champion buckle. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. <laughs> And, and you said the purple for a reason on the buckle too. Yeah. The purple is for domestic violence. Um, annually, 5.3 million people age 18 um, and older experience domestic violence. So if we can make a difference in 20 of those lives, um, that's our goal. Mm -hmm. High schoolers. These are high schoolers. Y'all just get me so fired up and make mm -hmm. me want to make a difference. <laughs> Seriously. And you're inviting people to come help you as sponsors and volunteers. Yeah, we have many um, generous sponsors, but we're always looking for more. Um, we have a sign up genius on our Facebook page that allows people to come help volunteer and just help us out throughout the weekend. Perfect. So really just anything. And that goes like taking tickets, selling tickets. Mm -hmm. If you're, if you're interested in sponsoring, you're more than welcome to reach out to us on our personal social media or on Driving for a Cause on Facebook. Um, if you send us a message, we'll get back to you. Mm -hmm. They will be happy to make sure that y'all can get involved. And I love that you put on here, you're just two young agriculturalists who are passionate about food and security. So tell us, because you have a special place where the funds are going to be donated to the Crisis Center. In 2020, they had, an, um, they had to close down their open kitchen in the Crisis Center. And so they actually have kitchen staff on site, and we're hoping to stock the freezer with meat and protein so that kitchen staff has enough meat to cook um, for the clients in the crisis center. I love mm. that. For local families that have nowhere else to go, they turn to the crisis center and mm. we got to make sure that there's food in the fridge when they need something to eat. You know oh. what I mean? Yes ma'am. Yes, yes, ma the fact that y'all are high schoolers, senior and junior, right? Mm. Yes ma'am. Representing the pride of s and and how. I mean, how did you come up with this idea last year in the first place? <sighs> FFA and 4-H is based on community service. It's a it's a youth organization, and with the help of my mom and her parents, um, mm -hmm. we decided we want to give back to a community that's given so much to us. And so we went to Meals on Wheels because that's something that was close to our family. And then this year, my mom's worked close with the Crisis Center through her friends and um, all that. And so we decided that we wanted to benefit another nonprofit, and we'll continue to do that. As I graduate, Starlin will take it over, mm -hmm. and her little sister will hop in in my place. Oh, I love that building generations of giving back and right on the heels of Domestic Violence Awareness Month in October. Yes. We're keeping the conversation going into November. One more time, high school girls. Can you believe <laughs> I mean, I feel like I just gotta keep saying this. Y'all are so impressive. Thank you so much for always taking the time before school to sit right here on our couch. We're so grateful to have a relationship with y'all. Well, thank you mm -hmm. for having us. We're gonna go to Veterans Day after this. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, man, I love that so much. And a quick shout out to Granny watching at home. We love you. Hi, Granny. Hi, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> y'all stick with us. We okay. will be right back after this break. <laughs>